Hi and welcome to another video from the best of CET series. In this video, we are going to look at another topic from data interpretation which involves tables. So there is a set that is present followed by four questions. What you can do is you can have a look at the set, the questions that we have, pause the video, try the questions out on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. Now this is sort of an easier set compared to what you would have been used to. So the ideal time to solve this set would be around two and a half to three minutes. So try to solve it within the given time frame. If you are finding it difficult, have a look at the solutions that will or have a look at the solution rather that will follow and you will be clearer in terms of how to attack these kind of sets. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. In this question, you have to figure out the savings of Patil family in the month of February account for what percent of the family's income in that month. So you have to figure out savings upon income in the form of a percentage. So if you look at the Patil family here for the month of February, their income is 30, their expenditure is 14.8. Now if the income is 30 and the expenditure is 14.8, the remaining part has to be savings. So one thing you can do is you can either calculate the amount of savings that you have or the uh, Patil family has uh, sort of made in the month of February and then figure out what is the savings divided by income into 100 or you can have a look at expenditure upon income into 100 whatever is the remaining part has to be the savings. The other way of thinking about it is you just look at the numbers and see what exactly is going on here. So out of 30 let us say 30,000 that Patil family uh, got in the month of February, 14.8 thousand or 14,800 were spent. So what is the part that remains? You can say 15,200. But if you look at it roughly, you can say that 14.8 out of 30 is approximately 50%. So if 14.8 is 50%, the remaining part should also be 50%. So if you look at the options that we have here, 42 definitely cannot be my answer. 46 definitely cannot be my answer, 39 no, 65 no, so 50 is my closest answer. So I need not even calculate what is going on here. If you calculate it, you will still get the same answer. You can simply do 14.8 divided by 30 into 100. So you will get 148 divided by 3, you will get 3 4s are 12, 28, so 3 9s are 27, then you will be left with a 1 0 10, so 3 3s are 9, 3 3s are 9, 49.33% will be the percentage of expenditure. So what is the percentage of savings? It will be 50.67. So again, we are looking at nearest integers in terms of the options that we have here. So whether it's 50, 51, it doesn't make a difference because we only have a 50 in the options. This is a rather simple question. We have to figure out Dubey family's total savings over all the months together. So what we have to do is we have to figure out all the income that Dubey family has sort of earned in the uh, months that we have and we have to figure out all the expenditures that they would have incurred. So we can do here, what we can do here is we can add all the incomes. So 30 plus 33 plus 28 will be 63 plus 28, 93 minus 2, 91 is the total income that they would have earned. What is the amount of spendings that they would have undertaken? 16.4, 19.7, 23.3, either you can do it normally or you can just add all the integral parts and then you can add all the decimal parts. So 16 plus 19 is 35, 35 plus 23 is 58, 58 is the integral part that we have here, 0.4 plus 0.7 is 1.1, 1.1 plus 0.3 is 1.4, 58 plus 1.4 will be 59.4. So out of 91 that they have earned, 59.4 is what they have spent. So what is the part that remains? 10 minus 4 that is 6, 10 minus 9 is 1, 8 minus 5 is 3. So 31.6. Now it might be extremely tempting for you to go ahead and mark this as the answer 31.6 and especially during the case of an exam or under the pressure of a timer, you will mark 31.6 in many situations. But you have to understand that the data has been given in terms of rupees 1000. So my answer here is 31.6 thousand or 31,600. So the correct answer here is option A that is 31,600 rupees. In this question, you are supposed to figure out which family has the lowest average income over all the months together. A mistake that a lot of people make is they will take everything on face value. They will try to figure out the average for each and every family that exists. But if you are dividing each number by 3, even if you take this sum, it is going to give you a good comparison. 
So if one family has an average of let's say 10 and another family has an average of let's say 20, what does it tell you about their overall income? 10 threes are 30, 20 threes are 60. So again 60 is greater than 30. So why do you need to calculate the average? So you can save one precious step in this particular question by not calculating the average at all. So what we can do here is we can just look at the total incomes of each family uh, family that we have here and we can easily figure out the answer. So in terms of Dubey, we have already figured out that the uh, income is 91. So we will just remember that and just note it here. In terms of Patil, if you look at it, 36 plus 30 will be 66 plus 12 is 78. Obviously, 91 is better than 78. So Dubey is winning at this point in time. If you look at Bose. 35 plus 33 is 68, 68 plus 25 is 93 that we have. So, Bose has overtaken Dubey here. Similarly, in terms of Ahuja, if you look at the family income, 35 plus 28, so 35 plus 30 is 65, minus 2 is 63, 63 plus 26, 73, 83 plus 6, 89. So, 89 is the income of Ahuja, of the Ahuja family for the 3 months that we have. Which family has the uh, highest average income? The highest average income is, uh, sorry, Bose. The lowest average income is Patil. So the correct answer here is going to be only Patil, which is basically none of these. So that is basically going to be the answer. In this question, we have to find the average income of all the families together in the month of March. Now, in this question, you will have to find the average because you are expected to give a value as the answer. So here, if you look at it, 26 was the income of the Ahuja family in the month of March, 33 Bose, 36 Patil and 30 is Dubey. So 26 plus 33 will be 59, 59 plus 36, 69, 79, 89 plus 6, 95, 95 plus 30 is 125. So 125 is the total income of all the families that we have here divided by 4 will give us the average income of each family. So 125 divided by 4, but the good thing is everything is in terms of 1000. So you can either figure out 125 by 4. So 4 3s are 12, 4 1s are 4, 10, 4 2s are 8 and 4 5s are 20. So 31.25 into 1000 is 31250. That is one way of doing it. And you can simply mark B as the answer. The other way of thinking about it is you can just think about it in terms of absolute numbers. Ahuja family has earned 26,000. Bose 33,000, Patil 36,000, Dubey 30,000. Everyone has earned somewhere around 30,000, right? If my options have 3, 1, 2, 5 in each and every one of them and I want to find the average, can I say that on an average my answer has to be close to 30,000? Which option is close to 30,000? 31 to 50, that is my answer. So you can just think about the context instead of calculating the entire thing and even then you should be fine in most of the situations. Now obviously if the answer would have been none of these then you would have been in some trouble but then again you are saving time while solving these questions. And again that is not something that you account for. So if you are solving questions quickly here even if you get some of them wrong you have time to solve other questions which a lot of people will not be able to solve. And most of the times these questions, these chances that you take are going to land in your favor and you are also going to get some more marks because you have more time to attempt the tougher questions. So make sure that you adhere to this principle of solving questions quickly, the ones that you know at the very at, at least and then you will definitely end up getting a better score than what you would be scoring otherwise. I hope you had fun learning this particular topic. It was a very easy set, but I hope that you have learned something in this particular video. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, stay care, stay safe and all the best.